good, my homies? It is your boy, Corky Can Stunt. Can you read that? Negative six. You probably see the title of this video and you're wondering like, how is this possible? It looks crappy outside. So uh, let me explain to you really quick. How's that look? So about a year and a half ago, Anyway, about a year and a half ago, I got invited out to Beta's demo day. A year and a half ago would have been the 2019 lineup. So while it is cold outside, I wanted to get some kind of video out to you guys. Uh, this is some footage that I've been wanting to use. At the time of recording it, I knew it was something that I wasn't going to post right away. While I'm riding the bikes, I actually talk about how well I liked them. And I still remember which ones are my favorite. You'll kind of see that as the video unfolds. As far as the 2,000 subscribers go, I shouldn't show you this while I'm driving. Yeah, check this out. 2,000 subs, we absolutely smashed that. I didn't even get a chance to put it over here yet before uh, that happened, so thank you for that. Really, really appreciate it, as you can see over here as well. If we get to 10,000 subscribers in 2021, there's gonna be some rewards for you guys. The 10,000 subscriber rewards is gonna range from several different things. There's gonna be giveaways, adventure rides, stunt rides. So as we unlock milestones, we'll be unlocking those too. I think that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Let's get into the video. Yeah. Welcome to the demo day. Huge thank you to Beta for making this happen. Sorry, it's a year and a half late. Let's go ahead and start rolling some footage. Can you guess which bike I'm gonna go to first? <laughs> if you guessed the 500 double RS, you are correct. This bike is the reason why I wanted to come out here. As you guys know, I got a 2019 KTM 500. We'll get to those comparisons in a second. But how this works is you get a bike, you're told to go rip it like it's yours. They then punch a hole in your card. You go ride, return the bike, grab another, and repeat the process. But if you're not familiar with what Beta is, they're an Italian motorcycle company who primarily makes woods bikes. But as of 2021, they are now making two-stroke motocross bikes as well. As I'm coming down the trail here, you hear that? I come up on this creek crossing to find this guy holding the chainsaw wide open. I'm sitting down here thinking, crap, this does not look good. I'm also riding with a broken hand right now, so I'm stressing a little bit. He eventually gets out of the way and it's my turn. No problem at all. It is way steeper than it looks, for sure. This was actually the moment that sold me on a 500. Which, at the time, it ended up being later that year that I ended up buying my KTM 500. I'm actually sorry, Beta. <laughs> but there were only a couple things that made me choose the KTM over the Beta. Ooh, I do kind of like the 500, but I haven't gotten it in third gear yet. <laughs> the weight is very similar. The gas tank size is similar. One key difference for me is the actual displacement size between the two. The KTM is a 510cc after displacement, whereas the Beta, unfortunately, the Beta is only a 477 cc after displacement. Well, single track's pretty dope. That's still first gear. <laughs> I think this thing is a six speed too, if I'm not mistaken. The handlebars are just really wide. I don't know how it like that. One nice perk on the beta that I noticed is that the trail tech dash is really sleek and tucked away and also gives you more information. It felt pretty planted on that log crossing. The KTM has everything that you need on the dash, but sometimes it'd be nice to know a little bit more, especially going on adventure rides. I think lugs, that's for sure. I don't know if this has a knobby on it or like an actual knobby or a dual sport. Played around quite a bit. That suspension is so nice. Got another log crossing here, followed by another creek section, and an uphill. Right here, these loose rocks really messed me up. I wasn't ready for those at all. Then the course went into this really muddy section, which I tried to avoid. Damn it. I'd also like to say that I'm surprised I'm doing this with a broken hand. Couldn't wear my brace back here. I'm sure they tell me no, can't ride. So I just sneak by without a brace. Man, that suspension is so nice. I really like the beta suspension, and you'll see that as the video goes. Right here, we're in the scratch track. Open it up just a little bit. But yeah, now we come back, everybody stares at you, and you find where the bike goes and move on to the next. Next up, we've got the 350 Double R Race Edition. 
Listen to the peppiness. Thank you. Okay, I really like the 350, even though I haven't made it far. It has a lot more usable power. Back to this uphill now, I'm noticing that the 350 doesn't lug as low as the 500. It's definitely got that tractor ability to it, but this thing likes being revved out. Just thought I'd shoulder check that tree real quick. It was still there. Right here. I expected the 350 to glide right over this log like the 500 did, but I don't know if this one sat lower or what. It's a little different. I'm not for sure, but I think I roosted this guy right here. This was some super tacky mud. Overall, I really like the 350. Next up, we got my first two stroke. Let's go. This is the. Ah, you see that? You probably thought, what a dumbass looking for an electric start on a two stroke. Actually, the 125 is the only beta two stroke model that does not have an electric start. All the others do. This 125 felt great. I can't lie, watching this video back makes me want a 125. <laughs> Of a this 125 felt like a motocross bike at heart, but still having a little bit of that lugability power. Only one complaint, the bike's so light that it's hard to get traction on the back wheel. This thing lugs pretty well. I like this. The bar position feels better on this bike. Feels more natural on this bike, I guess. Something's just good. So you slip it into neutral. Woo, I'll drive my first bike. Overall, I really like the 125. I feel like it'd be a good bike to dial in for motocross or track both. Next up is the 300 double R race edition. We're now on my next future bike. I mean, you see that he was trying to race. The question this bike is if I see it being something that I could race in the future. Pay attention to the power and the low RPMs here. It's just got a lot of gurgle. Maybe that's just a 300 thing. It's my first 300 I've ridden. But it absolutely has the power when you turn it on. Honestly, I could see this thing being a pretty good stunt bike. Oh, here we go. Stunt the two stroke. I think this is the bike. It's got so much bottom end. I do have arm pump like no other. This is second gear right here. I mean this thing just looks like effortless. I hate to say it, but I think I'm happier on a two stroke in the woods. This bike really loved being in the rough rocky terrain. Overall, I was a really big fan of the 300. Yo, so this is something that I thought would be pretty cool to just throw in at the end of the video. Right here, this is all the 2021 models from Beta. As you can see, there's a wide variety of a little bit of everything that you can pick from, even trials bikes. But what is even cooler is you can go over here to build your own beta, select your bike, custom build, start your build. Check this out. You can pick everything you want your new bike to come with. From tires, if you want that fancy Voyager, you can add it on, as well as your triples, 
handlebars, anything you can dream of, it's in here. And is what is even cooler than all this is you can finance directly online from this website and have this bike show up at your door. If you want an FMF, put that bad boy on there. I think this is a big step for Beta because this is such a cool program that they do. Literally have your bike set up to the way you want it. Again, huge thank you to Beta. Huge thank you to you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys for part two coming later this week. Peace. I said I don't think I should do it, but I might though I know they cheat thrills, but they make me feel alright though Balance on the beam and temptation